the grade is separated between those who succeed and those who don't. It's, it's purely an investment of time. Those who invest into their development, which is one of the core areas of success, those who invest into their development succeed. It's formulaic. It's not a mystery of what brings success. And that's why today I'm going to show you how you can invest into your development and where exactly you should focus your attention. Hey, what's going on my people? Joshua here. And today we're going to talk about the importance of investing into your development. Now, the reason why I think this is so important because the opposite or the, the consequence of not investing into our development is a lot of wasted time. And some of you have experienced this. You've experienced it through inconsistency. You've experienced it through a lack of clarity and unsure of which direction you should go, which probably is what's causing you to be inconsistent. And then some of you have experienced this through like the anxiety that you feel in your heart because you really doubt whether or how far you can go and how much you can succeed. And this is going to help you today because today I want to, if I can get you to understand where you should invest your time or how you should invest into your development, then you are that much closer to actually reaching the success that you were created for. And I don't say that by mistake. You were created to succeed. And, and that's why knowing these developmental areas is so critical to your success, because then you can spend your time focusing on those areas versus, you know, the inconsistency and lack of clarity. All right. So when we talk about, I'm going to jump right into this. When we talk about investing into your development, there are four. Well, first of all, development is one of the four core elements of success. It is one of the four core elements of success. We can look at pretty much anyone's biography that we would deem successful. And on that or in that biography, we would see that they invested into their development. But here's the challenge. Most people don't know where they should be investing. And so I'm going to help you with that today. There's four areas. OK, four areas that we should invest into uh, our development. If I get my pen to work here. So let's say four developmental areas. And here they are. Let's list them all out. The first one is spiritual development. The second is value development. The third is leadership development. And the fourth is one of my faves, financial, financial literacy. Those are the four areas. If I were to give anyone kind of a, a quick books, summary of where they should invest their their time into in, developing themselves i would say focus on these four areas spiritual value your leadership and uh, your financial literacy if you read again if you read anyone's biography of their lives that you would consider successful i guarantee you the majority of these four if not all of them are in existence are well at play in their lives and played a humongous uh, role in their success. And even, I mean, we look at, I won't go through all of them, but we look at just like the spiritual one. I can tell you the reason why that one's so important and we should, we should focus on developing that one is because it has a direct correlation to hope. Without hope, there really is no desire to succeed. What's the point? If there's no, reason for life and there's no hope, there's no one that created you intentionally, then there's really no reason to want to succeed. And some of you, like me, you've been there. You've been to a place in your life where you've really thought to yourself, what is the point? And I'm here to tell you, I'm going to get you, I'm, I'm going to get you a jump start in this area of, of spiritual development. I'm here to tell you that, that the, the point is that you were created to succeed. I'm wearing a shirt here that has a tag on the back and, and in that tag, it says made in wherever this shirt was made. It signifies where, where it was created. The tag of your life says made in success, meaning that you were created to succeed. And when we know this, this is why this is so important when we talk about development, when we know that we were created to succeed and there's a God that loves us when we know this, then it gives us and inspires us to 
focus on our development because then there's a reason when we know the end of the story that hey we're meant to succeed then we know that it's worth investing our time into because we're going to win it's what we were created for and so for me i don't know about you but i'm just going to use my life as an example my 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 faith in christ has led to a life filled with hope and a life filled with hope is what inspires me to go towards every ounce of the potential that my life was meant for. Not just for my life, but because I know if the closer I get to my potential, the more I can serve and add value to this world. And doesn't it feel good to add value to other people? Absolutely it does. So that's just one example of why you should focus on. That's just one of the developmental areas. I didn't even get into value, leadership, and financial literacy. We can do a we can do a whole couple hours on those three. But I just want you to know what are the four areas. Again, that's it's spiritual development, value development, leadership development, and financial literacy. Those are four developmental areas that I would strongly encourage anyone who wants to succeed to, to invest into. But here's here's the main point that I want to make today. I don't think this is like new. The idea that you need to invest in, you and I need to invest into our development if we want to succeed is not a new idea. I believe many of you listening to this and watching this, you know, like that's an important element to success. But what is it that stops us from focusing, from investing into our development? And I'm going to tell you, it's something called the law of focus. The law of focus. Now here's what the law of focus says. The law of focus says whatever you focus on, you magnify. Whatever you focus on, you magnify. There, there were these frogs. Check this out. There were these frogs kind of hopping through a forest. And they were in a group. They didn't know each other, but they were in a group hopping through the forest. Two of the frogs fell into this deep, deep hole. Now, most often frogs know when you fall into a deep hole as a frog, it's over. Your life is over because it's very hard to get out of, of that hole. And so for I, one, one of the two frogs decided, you know what? I don't want to be in this hole, so I'm going to try to get up out of here. And so that frog starts jumping from wall to wall within the hole, trying to make his way to the top. Meanwhile, at the top of the hole, the other frogs are looking down and saying, hey, man, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. You're never going to get out of that hole. And so in hearing this, that frog gets discouraged on his way up and decides to just and gets overly exhausted and tired and just decides to give up, falls to his death. The second frog sees this, but for some reason decides to take on the same journey. And so this frog starts to make its way up the hole to try to get out. And the frogs at the top are doing the same thing. They're saying, hey, why are you wasting your time trying to get out of this hole? You're not going to make it out. But unlike the previous frog, this one keeps going. And, and builds steam. And before you know it, hops out of that hole. And so the other frogs, in amazement, hop to this one and say, hey, well, how did you do that? Did you not hear us telling you that you're not going to make it? Did you not? We were trying to tell you to stop. Why did you keep going? And it was in that moment that this group of frogs realized that that frog is actually deaf. It's deaf. He couldn't hear them. That's why he kept going. And that's what the law of focus really shows us. It shows us that whatever, whatever we focus on, we magnify. There are some of you watching this who you've been in a hole in your life. You've, had some, you've either made some bad decisions, you've been inconsistent, you, you haven't had maybe the success that you wanted to or you see that's ahead of you. And all you keep focusing on is the things that haven't gone your way, the things that haven't been like you'd want to be, the voices that are around you that are telling you to give up, to stop going after that thing. And so because of the law of focus, if you are... If you are giving that your attention, your time, you're investing your focus into that, you're going to magnify that over your life. And here's what, I mean, here's what that looks like. Let me see if I can do this because I think visuals 
I think they help us to kind of drive home points. So think about this. And for those of you listening, I'm drawing, a, I'm drawing two circles. I want to draw two circles uh, here. Now I want you to think about this. When it comes to your focus, let's see if I can do this. Would it let me do it? I want to put this circle. I want to create a lens here. That'll work. Let's go with that. So we have a lens, right? And here's what happens. Like whatever we put into this lens. So I didn't realize you weren't really looking. Here's the lens. Whatever we put into this lens gets magnified. Whatever you put in there. So if you're focused on negativity around you, it's going to get magnified. And it's going to have a, a heavy toll on you. If you're focused on all the, the skills and things that you, 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 you know, the proficiencies you don't have, it's going to get magnified. If you're focused on all the bad things that happened to you in your life and that have made life harder for you, then guess what? It's going to get magnified. The law of focus says whatever we put into that lens of focus gets magnified. And this is what stops us from focusing on our development. We get like, we, like that frog, the first frog, we get so tied up into focusing on the drama and the entertainment and all the other things around us that are really just distractions and deterrence to our success. It does nothing for us. And so here's a question I want you to consider. Because I want to wrap this up. I don't want to be doing these too long. But I want you to consider this. What currently in your life are you focused on? What are you focused on? Like where has your focus been? Has it been on all the opportunity you have in front of you? To, to, to develop your values, to develop your spiritual walk, to develop your financial literacy, your leadership which is a universal skill and it works in any market, any industry, leadership does? Have you been focusing there or have you been focusing on all the other things that add nothing to your success, that actually, they're actually counterproductive because you were created to succeed and all those things really try to prevent you from reaching what you were created for. So two questions. The first is, what are you focusing on? Number one. And, and number two, out of those four developmental areas, which one are, are you developing currently? Which one are you developing? Are you making the most of the opportunity to develop your value? Which your value is really just your skills, your talents, what you bring into life and into the marketplace. How are you developing your abilities? What are you reading? What are you listening to? Those are, that's how we invest into our development. That's a, that's a signification of our focus, what you're reading, what you're listening to. And if you want to accelerate, if you want to accelerate your success, you have to manage the investment into your development. We got about 18 weeks left in this year. And my hope, I mean, for those who are watching right here live, we got about 18 weeks left, but no matter what, what time you're watching this, you have opportunities in front of you and I want you to not waste them because there is a success that your life was created for and I want to see you reach it and you will when you shift your focus to make sure you're magnifying the right areas in your life. All right. I hope that was helpful. If so, make sure you like, hit the notification button so you don't miss these. This is very important for all of us to keep us inspired and moving towards our potential. So make sure you hit that like, uh, subscribe, a comment, all those good things so that we can continue doing this. And I hope, again, I hope this was valuable to you. If so, then make sure you do that. And if nothing else, I'm going to see you all same time, same place next week, reminding you that success is your destiny. Till then, take care.